In the last few lectures in this section, we learned how we can work with DOM using JavaScript and we learned about document object and the methods it provides to work with DOM elements. For example, get element by ID method or query selector method. And we also talked about create element method, insert adjacent element method, remove method, etc. So all these are methods provided by document object. Now, one very important point to remember here is that these document object methods are not part of JavaScript programming language. These methods are provided by browsers. These methods cannot be used in JavaScript if you are running JavaScript outside of the browser. For example, we can also run JavaScript in Node.js environment. And Node.js is a runtime environment which will allow us to use JavaScript on server as a server-side programming language. There, the JavaScript code is executed by Node.js runtime and not by the browser. And hence, there we cannot use methods like getElementById method or querySelector method in Node.js environment. In simple terms, we can say that DOM is not JavaScript. The methods which we have used in this section to work with and manipulate DOM elements, they are not part of JavaScript programming language. These methods are provided by browsers and we call it as browsers web API. So get element by ID method or query selector method or even the document object. These are provided by browsers web API and these methods and objects are also written in JavaScript. And that's why we can use them in our JavaScript code. Now, what is browsers web API? Well, Modern browsers are built in such a way that they can execute JavaScript codes and they also provide some functionality which we can use in our JavaScript code to work with web page elements that is DOM elements. A browser not only just renders a web page but it also performs other tasks like executing JavaScript code, providing APIs to work with DOM elements, provides local storage, it uses stack and heap memory to store JavaScript variables etc. And for running JavaScript in browser, browser acts as a runtime environment, which compiles and executes our JavaScript code. And it consists of four main parts, the JavaScript engine, web API, callback queue and microtask queue, and event loop. And we will talk about them in great detail in our coming lectures. But out of these four, the web API is the one which provides DOM APIs like get element by ID method or query selector method or any other DOM method which we have used so far in this section. And it is this web API which also provides us the console.log function. So the console.log function which we have been using so far for logging variables and outputs in the browser's console that is also provided by browser's web API. The console.log function is also not part of JavaScript programming language. It is provided by Browser's Web API. And Browser's Web API provides other useful APIs as well, which we have not used so far. For example, the Fetch API to make HTTP requests from browser. And we will learn about Fetch API in great detail in one of the future lectures of this course. So in this way, Browser's Web API provides us a lot of functions, a lot of methods, or we can also call it as APIs, using which we can work with DOM elements as well as we can make HTTP requests from our browser to the server. So what I want to make you understand here is that JavaScript is a programming language which uses DOM methods or DOM APIs provided by browser's web API for working with DOM elements. JavaScript language in its own does not have any built-in method to work with DOM elements. And hence, DOM methods are not part of JavaScript programming language. They are the APIs which browsers provides and that we use in our JavaScript code when we are running JavaScript in browser. Outside of the browser, we cannot use DOM methods in our JavaScript code. So remember that DOM is not JavaScript. And the DOM APIs which we have used so far in our JavaScript code, that is not part of core JavaScript programming language. These are the APIs, these are the methods which is provided by browser's web API and we can use it in our JavaScript code, but they are not part of JavaScript programming language. Now, we are going to learn about browser as a runtime environment and its component in great detail in one of the sections of this course. And there you will learn how JavaScript is executed by the browser and other internal stuffs. But 
this is all from this lecture and from this section in this section we learned how we can use javascript to work and manipulate dom elements and we have learned a lot of things like accessing the dom elements manipulating the dom elements creating dom elements dynamically removing dom elements dynamically and many more things and in the future lectures also we are going to learn a lot about dom and how we can work with dom using javascript code we are going to learn many new concepts regarding working with dom from our javascript code but for now this should be enough now from the next section let's move on and let's learn some other new features of javascript programming language